Hi everybody, Foxy here, and today I'm going to show you how to install Skyrim Script Extender. You'll need this if you want to run any, really pretty much any sort of mod. Um, some workshop stuff too, it's required. So first thing you want to do is you want to go into your web browser and you want to Google Skyrim Script Extender. First thing that will come up should be this. It's skse.silverlock.org. Go here. Here they'll have their current build and their beta builds of Skyrim Script Extender. First thing, if you aren't very technical, but you want to be able to do this with as little stress as possible, just download the current build installer. Just click it and you just save it. Downloads nice and quick because it's only like 307 kilobytes. So you have that. Then you want to go to your downloads and you want to run it. And with mine, since I have mine on a different drive, if yours is installed under C because you only have one hard drive, then it should auto detect. If not, if you have it on a different drive or it doesn't auto detect, this will come up. You hit OK, and what you want to do is you want to browse and go to where your <clears throat> your Skyrim is installed. So with me, you know, it's Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim. And then hit OK, and it's there. So you hit Next, and this will be checked. You hit Install, and you're done. Now, when you go to launch it, <clears throat> you will need to go to where it's at under your folder and you want to either A, you want to from now on instead of just launching the Skyrim um, thing, you just you want to launch um, Sky SKSE Loader instead. That's what will launch your game from now on. If you have a <clears throat> If you have a mod manager, such as Nexus, if you launch it through Nexus, it will launch through Nexus and it shows up on your Steam as uh, Skyrim. Now, if you have Nexus, you can easily get mods from their website. It's nice and quick and painless. Now, if the Skyrim Script Extender installer didn't work for you, You'll need to do something a little, little more advanced, but it's still easy. Navigate to your Skyrim folder. Now once you're in your Skyrim folder, you'll notice that just within the Skyrim folder itself is where all your launcher files and everything like that are. Now you want to download the 7Z archive and save that. Now this is going to be a compressed folder that was made with 7-Zip. So you're going to want to go and Google 7-Zip and make sure to go to 7-Zip.org and download the one for your corresponding windows. This is a tool just basically opens up compressed zip folders. So you, if you have 32-bit or 64-bit windows get whichever one you have and save it and then you want to run it and you hit next and of course it's me I already have it installed but I'm just gonna hit repair just for the hell of it which with this you would be hitting next and installing it And you hit finished, and it might want you to restart. I'm not going to because it was already installed. After that, then you have the capability to open that folder up. So we'll go to our downloads, and this is the folder we just downloaded. You want to right click, and you can either go, if yours comes up with 7-zip, you can hit um, open archive, or you will hit open and it'll ask you like which program and which if you have to find it you can navigate to see and it'll be under program files 
sorry, regular program files seven zip, and you want to run this, which is file manager. Once you have this installed, you want to open it up, and right here you'll have that folder. You want to drag this on your desktop. Take just a second to extract. Okay, once you have that, this is the files for Skyrim Script Extender. Okay, so basically, once you have this open, this is all the Skyrim Script Extender files. So now you just browse to where your Skyrim folder is, just the base folder that has all your launcher files and stuff in it. All of the README and all that, you don't necessarily need that, to, but, but to make it easier on everybody, all you do is just highlight and copy all of this over in and hit yeah, and hit do this for current items, yes. If you have anything, which this I'm putting a, I think I'm replacing the same version. So I'm just overriding what's already there. And you're done. After that, you just run Skyrim Script Extender Loader or launch it through a Nexus Mod Manager, and you're completely done. You can install whatever mod you want. And that is how you install Skyrim Script Extender. Hope you found this helpful. Uh, like and subscribe if it helped you. Foxy Elegance out.